up guys? Welcome to episode number four. Thank you for all the love on the past few episodes in New York City. They've been super fun to make and yeah, I've never felt so alive in my life. Living in New York City definitely feels like the right move right now. So today it's gonna be a little New York adventure vlog. I'm gonna try to have a little productive morning first. So I'm gonna respond to some emails and then head to the gym, get a quick workout in. It's gonna be a good day. I feel it. <laughs> So far today, pretty productive day. Not too much vlogging, but gonna be going into Manhattan in a little bit. First, I'm gonna finish up this food I'm cooking and then get ready to leave. This is probably the most consistent I've ever been on YouTube, which is kind of sad, but also kind of exciting if you look at it like that. I think something about not having college classes anymore, just I can devote all of my energy to making videos. So yeah, I've never, I've never been so fired up about anything. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I look like such a thug. Did pretty much everything I wanted to do today so far. And the last thing is filming this vlog that you're watching right now. It's almost 6 p.m. I'm gonna head into Manhattan to meet up with my friend. I have to get there very soon, so I'm gonna head out now. <laughs> hot today. I'm like squinting because it's so bright right now. So now I'm on my way to go to the little island. I don't know which way it is. Let me actually check that. <laughs> Everything feels so random. Now I'm here at the little island with my friend Ali and we're just gonna do a little exploring around here. See what's up. What's your name? Bill. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You live in New York? Yeah. I graduated from BC. Oh, you went to BC too? Yeah. Oh, no way. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good. Why? It's funny that we both came here same time and we're both in New York. Serendipity. Odds. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> that was actually like the first time someone's ever like, recognized me. Really? Here. Yeah. I thought people recognized you in Boston, no? Oh, yeah. Boston, yeah. But here, that was the first time. That's cool. Have you ever you seen me in New York City? Say what's up. I probably look a lot more intimidating, but I'm not. Once you talk to me, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone would find you intimidating. Your voice is mellow. If I had to rate Little Island, I'd say it's it's worth. Yeah, I don't even know if it's worth checking out. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. Yeah. What's a ten out of ten? <laughs> um, ten out of ten experiences in New York are, you know, I objectify them because they're cultivated. It's like spontaneous stuff in certain locations. Right. It's not like the place that Yeah, experience. yeah. And I think somewhere like this, it offers you little space for like funner things right. to happen. And like what happens here is what you expect. I think just every day though, just being in New York, you get you get a 10 out of 10 yes, Some, somewhere. Yes, yes. You can you know? make it a 10 out of 10. In you know, I feel like, yeah, every day there's like, like when that guy said hi, mm -hmm. like that was a 10 out of 10. Yeah. It didn't matter that yeah. it was here. That wouldn't happen in New Jersey. Or Boston. Or Boston, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> back from dinner, back from Manhattan. Thought I would do a little segment where I talk about why did I move to New York? So I've grown up in New Jersey my whole life, born and raised for 18 years. And then I went to college at Boston College in Boston for like four years. And now I'm in New York. When I was in Jersey growing up, I would go to New York all the time. Every 
probably a month or so, I'd say, I'd make a trip up there, whether it's for school, with family, always loved going. Definitely it's different visiting as a kid versus actually living in the city, but I've always had that dream of living there. You know, it's a mix of going there, you know, all the movies and if you make it there, you make it anywhere, something like that. First reason is I've always had a childhood dream of going there. Then, opportunity. New York is really slept on for creative work. Specifically, you know, being a YouTuber and doing social media. You know, LA is there for that kind of stuff as well, but New York seemed a lot more my vibe. And I figured if I could accomplish one of my dreams, like right after graduating, it was a no-brainer. Third reason is my third reason, second reason. Third reason is friends. I know a good amount of people from my high school, college, YouTube friends are in New York City. I think when you're moving to a new place, it's a lot easier to get acclimated if you have a lot of friends in the area. And also not only that, but having friends here uh, means there's always something to do, someone to hang out with, and yeah, it just, just a lot more fun, period. Third. You don't have to drive. Fun fact is I got my driver's license when I was 16 and right after I got it, I never drove again. I get like anxiety when I'm driving slash I also just hate driving. So I literally got my license, never drove. And so New York is literally the perfect city for someone who hates driving. Like nowadays, either I take the subway or I ride my boosted board to get around the city and it is just Perfect. And then I think the last thing is just there's just a certain like energy when you're in New York City. Everyone is doing their own thing, working hard, grinding, and when you're surrounded by people that are grinding, it makes you want to grind too. There's just something happening here at all times. It's a city that never sleeps. And that sort of energy where people have goals and they're going after them full force, that's the kind of stuff that. I want to surround myself with. I've been here about two weeks and I've just never felt happier in my life. Like it's it's not even just like going to like really cool restaurants or like hanging out with friends, but I know I made the right choice because even like the little things like walking to the subway, it just hits me that like this is my life and that I have the opportunity to make my life whatever I want. And I think that's something that is unique to New York. One downside of <laughs> New York is that it is pricey. So moving here was definitely a huge financial risk, especially someone for a channel of my size with less than 100,000 subscribers. Financially, this did not make a lot of sense. I should have gotten a job or something, but I just have a strong belief that YouTube is gonna work out, everything's gonna work out, as long as I continue to work on things I'm passionate about, continue creating, never getting complacent with where I am. Those are the reasons why I chose New York City. And I'm sure there's a whole lot more that I'm forgetting right now, but it's almost midnight, so I'm gonna go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching this vlog, and you already know, more vlogs are on the way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh.